a professor of electronics and communication engineering, Bodilon Omeje, at the University of Port Harcourt 196 inaugural lecture, is calling for a review of tertiary institutions' curriculum to meet Education 4.0 needed to drive the current fourth industrial revolution. Kingsley Amaji reports. The 196 Uniport inaugural lecture series titled Embedded Systems, the Game Changer in Modern Industrialization has Professor Omije as lecturer. In the current age of industrial revolution driven by digital technology such as robotics and artificial intelligence, he called for development of younger generation of digital skilled talent by improving on educational content with modern digital technology appealing to the federal government to invest in Education 4.0 to help stimulate production in the economy. Education 4.0 has to do with education with the, in the fourth industrial revolution, whereby you have to build in, embed in the emerging digital skills. The jobs that are available now in the next few years will be phased out because we are now in the era of full automation. Artificial intelligence is taking the whole lead, and so we need to develop manpower for the industry. Professor Meiji says the goal of any research work should go beyond publications and target at providing prototype solutions. I wanted to solve the problem of electric shock at home. Sometimes you want to put on your appliances and you have some electric shock. And so what did I do? I did some research and came up with a designed computer-based wireless control switch for controlling home appliances. Then we also went further and developed a product which we call the Improved Drug Verification System to mitigate the increasing number of counterfeit drugs in the country. Vice Chancellor of the University of Portacot, Professor George Willowunari, expresses joy with Professor Omeje's academic works with practical demonstrations which has attracted huge support from different international organizations to the institution. Professor Mije is a game changer. He has attracted so much to the university from outside the country, from Europe, from everywhere. Come here, bring equipments, bring money, trust you now to say you can carry out research and give them results. Results that will be beneficial for the country, for the university and for everybody. The lecture opens vista of hope that technology like drones can be used in agriculture in green energy using robotics and other areas of human endeavors to stimulate higher productivity in port harcourt kingsley amajuri and ta news the traditional ruler of ungo town his royal highness dr ujile dugu dungere has declared as null and void the purported publication by an indigenous of the area, declaring the shutting down of business activities and restriction of movement on, in Ungo Town and the local government area, effective February 28 to 1st March 2025. He made this known at a World Press conference held in Port Harcourt, where he said the order coming under the guise of the burial of their late chief is unknown in Ungo Town and does not exist as a bylaw in Andoni local government area. This World Press Conference by His Royal Highness King Dugu Dungere is coming on the heels of recent publication ordering the close down of Ungo main market and ban on the conduct of burials or any form of ceremonies in Ungo town effective February 28 to 1st March 2025. The royal father who gave the historical background to the tussle for the traditional stool of Ungo, which dates back to 1970, said the Supreme Court of Nigeria on January 6, 2023, upheld the legitimacy of the chieftaincy stool he occupies and also declared him chairman and only local government area council of traditional rulers and the only recognized council of Andoni local government area. He therefore notes that the said publication and authorization to close down trading activities on the basis of the burial of a late chief this Saturday, February 28, 2025, came to him as a rude shock as the individual who made the announcement has no legal right to impose such customary practices. What did he say? He said that he has no legal right to impose such customary Impose government 
Others who spoke at the press conference commended the king for his peaceful disposition and for extending a hand of fellowship to the opposing faction in the interest of peace. The power of his peaceful disposition will be a day for peace. There will be no need for anybody to fear. He has extended his hands of fellowship to chiefs and people of Ingo and the whole Andalus by inviting them to attend the burial. The king also used the opportunity to commend Governor Siminalai Fubara for his exemplary leadership and development strides in the state. In Port Harcourt, Marian Vincent Oko, NTA News.